What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day number 43 of Autodesk Fusion. All right, as you can tell, today's um, object we're making is going to be a box that opens and closes. We're going to learn about how to do constraints and other than just the rigid ones like we've done before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this box and then I'm going to throw in the constraints to make it open and close within that window that you see. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna hit right click. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just stop that right there. Okay, so let's do this. Let's start a new design. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a box. Now, it doesn't really matter the size in this box, so I'm just gonna do overall size. We're gonna go ahead and extrude this on up, just some distance. Click okay, shell it out, and now we've got the bottom half of my box. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go ahead and since I'm going to mirror this box, I'm going to click on mirror, pattern type, bodies, click on the object that I want to mirror, mirror plane, mirror it on that side, and then click OK. So what I've done so far is I've just made a top and bottom half of my box. Now what we're going to do is uh, I have to create these as individual components. So I'm going to create the top, we're going to do new component create that as top. If I'm doing this too quickly, you need to go back and look at my components videos that I did earlier. So I'm going to do make my top and bottoms to be new components. I'm going to go ahead, as far as good documentation, go ahead and label these as such. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to do a, a joint. Now when we click on a joint, we're going to say, I want this part of my machine or my object to be constrained to a certain part. So we're going to find out that we're going to be breaking physics for a little bit, and then we have to tweak our joint as we go along. So I'm going to click on. Now, this can be a little hard to do, so actually I'm going to move this body on up a little bit, just so that way when I do my joint constraints, I know I'm clicking the right line. So what I'm going to do is click on the center of this edge, and then for my other one, I'm going to click on the center of the other edge. It's going to do some interesting things. First thing is, uh, I'm going to click over on this second tab, and under Motion, you can make this a rigid fit, or what we're going to do is a revolute. And so it's going to make it spin. Those two lines or those two edges are going to revolve around one another. You can click Play right here, and it'll animate it. As you can see, my top is going through my bottom one. We don't want that. but. Um, what we are then going to go do is click on this little symbol right here. It kind of looks like a flag. I'm going to hit right click, and we are, can do a couple of things here. We're going to edit these joint limits. And so we're going to set a minimum and a maximum. And so you can kind of figure this out or uh, use these arrows right here to figure out what you want to do. So over here, you can type in 0 to 180, or you can do 270, whatever angles you're looking for. And the same way, we can do the easy way to uh, extrude using those arrows that show up. We can do our constraints right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a box. And if we want to, we can go ahead and animate it to see if it's working the way we want it to. And it is. So we're going to click OK. Now. If I want to see if my thing is working, so I'm going to hit right click, and you know now since we have a joint in our system, we can animate a single joint, or we can animate the whole model and to see if it's working as expected. Alrighty, guys, there we go. We just made a box open and close in Autodesk Fusion. If you have any questions, let me know. But uh, try this out for yourself. Good luck. I'll see you in the next video.